Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Curve, presented by T-Mobile, where we bring you all the latest news on the Grandmasters on Curve. This week saw our Grandmasters dive back into round robin, as they did have a slight break with Masters Tour Montreal the week before, but with so many must-win matches, the pressure continues to build. In the Asia-Pacific region, Surrender continued to be king. With wins over Tom60229 and Chonsu, he once again cements himself at the top of Division A with a 4-0 score. Unfortunately for Chonsu, that loss just added to his misery, with him ending the week at 0-4, not only failing to defeat Surrender, but also losing to Tyler, who had a deck that he was hard targeting in the form of Bomb Warrior. Meanwhile, in Division B, no one is safe, as everyone is within one win or loss of ending up in the middle of the pack. Special mention does go to Tiz, who managed to a 2-0 week, taking down Flurry and Possessi, boosting himself up to the top of the standings along with Shaxi. Over in Europe this week, Yala took down RDU to end the G2 player's hot streak, meaning that RDU has to end the week sharing the top spot with Bunny Hopper. On the lower end of Division A, Tice managed to get a much needed win, but Viper ended up taking more losses this week and once again failed to get any points on the board. At the halfway point in this round robin phase, he is looking ever more likely to end up in those relegation playoffs. Over in Division B, the situation is also looking dire for our bottom three players. Silvername, A Rock, and Ball Controller all sitting in the relegation zone, with only one win to their names. And with all the players currently above them having only played three matches, unlike those bottom three, four, it looks like their best hope is to scramble for the sixth place spot to avoid that automatic relegation. The Americas had a different story to tell this week. Nalgadan and Bloodyface, both players at the bottom of their divisions, picked up wins, which leads to everything still to play for in both divisions. We also saw a strong week from Latam players, Nalgadan, Empanizado and Rami, who are all in Division B. They managed to end the weekend with a combined record of 4-1, pushing themselves up the rankings and ensuring that Division B will not be decided until the final week. We had an abundance of great matches over the weekend, but I would like to highlight just one from the European region. Tice vs Yala was one of the longer series over the weekend, but also one of the most exciting with a mix of high level play from two of Europe's best, combined with some pretty ridiculous outcomes that put our players metal to the test. So if you didn't get a chance to watch live, make sure you check out the link to the VOD below to catch up and find out what happened to make Tice do this. Yeah, potentially a little bit. <laughs> <Look at> some... <laughs> some... Continue, sir. I will wait. And that is going to be it from us at The Curve this week. So make sure to go to playhearthstone.com forward slash esports to catch up on any news or matches you may have missed. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time in the tavern.